Hey there, welcome back to another productivity rant. I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about um, how I manage things that I do on a regular basis. So a lot of folks have jobs where every day is something new, right? Everything that's thrown at them is the first time they've ever done it, or it's a new project in an ongoing string of random projects, and the task today is some unrelated thing to the day before and whatnot. Um, if that's you, uh, you know, maybe there's something that you can glean from this, I hope, um, because I still think that even if you are like an architect with a whole bunch of random projects to get thrown at you, or you are a school teacher and every single day is different lessons, there are still some things that will apply here. Uh, but this is really built for folks who have this like recurring, ongoing repetition of a certain kind of thing. So let's bring this back to what I do. I'm a podcaster. Um, I, I write or someone on my team writes a script. I take that script. I make sure it's ready to record. I go in the booth and I record that. I use an app called GarageBand, which is free on any Mac that you buy. I then use GarageBand to also produce in other words, make a finished product of that episode that I've recorded. And then I export that and I have um, an episode file, an MP3, that's ready to be uploaded to the server where my podcast files live and people who subscribe to it get that file delivered to them. I also uh, have a little text file. Uh, just I use uh, text edit on my Mac to um, create what I would call the episode details. So it's got the name of the episode has a description. Um, those are the things that I would copy and paste into the field in the hosting platform that I use. And then other things could go in that file as well. What's its official episode number? What's its release date? Is there an episode page on the website? Do I put that link in there? All that kind of stuff. Um, and I do the same thing for every episode, which means at the end of the day, Every time I start a brand new episode, I have to start a whole bunch of things from scratch that I always do. So what I use in my day-to-day -day workflow are template folders. Again, I'm on a Mac, so whatever Windows counterpart you feel works for this, but whatever the file management app is on your computer, you know, it's Finder on a Mac, um, Windows Explorer, I think, on Windows. What you want to do is if you have a thing that you make a lot of, have a template folder and that folder can be named, I tend to name it underscore template with no spaces in there. The underscore helps the file system sort it to the top. The more underscores you put in, the higher up to the top it will go. FYI, if you ever wanna have like multiple things up there but you still wanna rank them in a certain order. So I'll create a folder. I have a folder in my lore episodes folder that is called underscore template. And inside that folder is a GarageBand file that has all the settings already set up. All the dials have been tweaked the right way. It's the same file that I've been duplicating and using for nine years, um, give or take, with some upgrades to software and things like that. Uh, so there's a GarageBand file in there. It's named um, lore-xxx, and I will replace that when I create a copy of it. So let's say I'm doing episode 260. I'll create a folder that is a copy of my template file, uh, my template folder, and that one has, you know, it's like 260 dash the name of the episode. And in there, that GarageBand file, the X's will get replaced with the 260. The episode details text file that's in there that has all the template stuff in there that it should have, you know, the, the bullet list of where to find my sources, where to find my music, where to find all the other Groom and Mild shows, like the stuff that's stock and then you know, it's got X's for the episode number and title, just an X's, X's waiting for me to fill in the description, all those things. Who was the writer? Who was the researcher? They're all, they're all ready to go in that file. I'll just rename that one 260. Um, I have a folder within my template folder called music with X's and I replace that music 260. So I know what songs from Chad I used in the episode that we're talking about. Um, and then I have a folder in that in that episode template folder called launch files. And launch files is all the stuff I need for launching the episode. So the final MP3 that gets output goes in that folder. The, um, the episode description file is actually in that folder. 
if I have a, a square bit of social artwork for that particular episode with maybe its name and its number, that JPEG goes in that folder. Everything that I need to launch an episode out into the world essentially goes in the launch folder. Um, and my template folder has adjusted and evolved over the years. It now contains more things than it used to contain. I do more things around an episode than I used to do. But all in all, it's there. So when I sit down to make a new episode of my podcast, I don't say, oh, I've got to create a new folder. I've got to create a folder called music. I've got to create a new garage band. Let me go and copy something and delete the content out of it and save it with a new number. I don't have to do any of that. All of it is in the folder. In the matter of a half second, I can create myself a new episode folder with all the details that I need. If there was a way that I could automate like the naming of things in all of the aspects, replace all the triple X's with the number that I have in my clipboard, that would be really cool and maybe I'll work on that. But um, having a template allows me to avoid doing the same thing over and over again when I shouldn't have to spend time on that. It's the same GarageBand settings. Why can't I just copy a blank file that I already have on hand from GarageBand, put it in there, and that's what I'm going to record in for that episode. It all makes sense. My episode scripts, they're a template. It's a pages document with pages as sort of like the word of Mac. And uh, I just created it. There's a copy of that template in that folder as well. So I open it up where, the, where it says lore XXX. I put the number 260. There's a colon and there's some X's for where the title will go. I usually wait till I've read the episode re research and I've written the script. And then I say, what's a clever title for this? And then I fill that in. But it, all the font choices are done. All the line spacing is done. All the thinking is done for me. So I can sit down, open it up and just start writing. And that is how I've operated the show for nearly a decade now. It's, it's what keeps things organized. I know where to go inside each episode folder to find the thing that I'm looking for because the structure is all the same. It's all the same. And uh, I do that for every show. Every show has a template folder and all the content is right there waiting for me. It, it works out really well. It's a simple matter of copy and pasting these things and all the work is done for you. Now you can just create. And honestly, there are times when the minutia and the, the dirty work and the frustrating little jobs get in the way and sap away that creative energy. And you don't want that. You don't want that when you're constantly making things. So get rid of the, uh, the distraction and just make template folders and use those. That's my productivity tip for you today. I hope that helps and I'll see you next time.